It's hilarious to read through the 1925 manual for obtaining the Master at Arms merit badge in the Boy Scouts. A scout must attain proficiency in two out of the following subjects. Single stick, quarterstaff, fencing, boxing, jiu-jitsu, gymnastics, and wrestling. So basically, they were training to become MMA fighters slash ninjas. Can you imagine what the reaction would be if they brought back this merit badge today? Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Single stick is exactly what it sounds like. You fight each other with a stick. You could also learn to fight with a much larger stick. Every boy worthy of the name has an interest in boxing. All you need are boxing gloves, which are provided at the troop headquarters. Think that's still true today? And our scouts must also learn jiu-jitsu, including submission holds, pressure points, and throws. This scissor takedown, by the way, is illegal in judo today. Well, at least we have wrestling in common with the older generation. With one small difference. Strangling your opponent until he passed out was legal. In other words, the style of wrestling was catch wrestling, which allowed submission holds. Catch wrestling and the Boy Scouts. If there were a textbook on civilizational decline, both institutions would be in Chapter 1. Catch wrestling was a major sport, with championship matches on par with today's Super Bowl, and champions invited to the White House to engage in a little mixed martial arts. It was a contest of skill and strength, of stamina and will, with matches sometimes lasting hours. Nowadays, it's devolved into bad theater, some kind of homoerotic farce, a microcosm of clown world. Speaking of clown world, 